But also, man, I just want to ask you about Ryan's fight that night against Luke Campbell. How do you expect it to go? Lots of people talking about Campbell's experience and all that. How do you see it going? Yeah. Um, I, every fight with uh, that whoever Ryan fights, I'm like his main supporter. I study the guy, and I've been studying Luke. It's, it's, it's not going to go well for him. I'm not just saying that because, you know, he's my brother. But the skill level, the speed, the timing that my, my brother possesses, there's no way that Luke is with his defense, with his speed. There's not, there's nothing that Ryan's not going to be able to land, you know. And it's going to be an amazing fight. And but I think it's going to end pretty early, just like his previous fights. Do you think, you know, stylistically, Luke likes to be tall, rangy fighter? That that plays yeah. into Ryan's hands because Ryan is very tall and rangy himself. Yeah, no, one thousand percent. Range has never been a problem with Ryan. And a lot of people think that's going to be a problem, but it's never been a problem because no matter if a long punch is coming at you or a short punch is coming out of you, you're going to find a way in. You're going to find a way to, you know, deflect whatever's coming your way. And, you know, Ryan has that ability. What, what would you think of your brother in, in those fights that everyone's talking about, you know, Devin Haney, Javante Davis, yeah. Fimo, which one do you want to see? Which one? Yeah. Intrigues uh, Javante. That's see, I, I want to see. I want to see Javante because you know we're here to. We're not here to just like mess around. We we just want to fight the best, and you know, because that's what really boxing's been missing is like that fight. Like, damn, dude, this is gonna be nuts. Like that Mayweather versus Pacquiao stuff. Like that, just crazy. Two of the the best of the best, and they're gonna throw down, and whoever wins wins, and you know, everyone comes out safe. But that's what we want. You know, we want to fight the best. So that's why. I'm hoping Ryan fights Javante because that's the card I want to be on to fight Raymond Ford, you know? Mm. So it'll be two zero zeros ready to go. Someone's getting a, a one, and I know it's them. <laughs> Oof. And just to close on that, too, you know, Ryan, he had a great breakdown. Um, I think it was on Sirius XM radio of why he would win against Javante. Yeah. Why, why, do you, why would your brother win that fight in your mind? Um. He's not, he just, he's not afraid, you know, he's not, he's not dumb. He's not, he knows Javante is a very hard hitter, you know, but he's only going to hit hard if he lands on Ryan, but Ryan's not dumb. He's lengthy, Javante's short, not long reach, and Ryan has a pop. Javante's been fighting these fighters that don't have power, you know, to put fear in him. Javante is a bully. He's a tank. If you're going to put fear in the tank, then it's going to step back and it's going to have to go on to strategic work. And Javante doesn't – I don't think he possesses boxing skill. Like, I mean, he has skill, but when have you ever seen him really do something boxing-wise other than just being a dog and just coming in throwing those hard shots? But when you have someone who has a pop and will put fear in you, then you're going to have to box. And I think Ryan's boxing skills are – a hundred times better than Javante Davis. And last one, brother, because you are the last man we actually saw Canelo share the ring with on a screen. Maybe it wasn't a, an official fight, but you know, yeah. um, Canelo versus Plant. Could you please yeah. just give me your breakdown on how that fight goes? If if it um, I I don't know much on Plant, so I can't say you know that can. But I know Canelo's skill, and I know who he's been in the ring with, and. He's a beast, dude. He's a monster. He hits like a mule. It's just, you know, and he's very calm. He's very patient. So if, you know, Plant comes in the ring with his A game, Canelo's with his A game, and he's not going out easy. So he's coming to fight, and uh, I hope Plant is ready. If not, it's going to end up like Kovalev. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Sean. It's been a pleasure talking with you. Um, I really think you've been – underrated as a prospect so far for anyone yeah. who hasn't checked you out they should check you out and see the speed thank and the skills you. you have um thank, thank you i appreciate that anything else you yeah, want to I, fans? no i'm just you know i'm ready to fight and um i know i've been you know i haven't been looked at and that's you know that's my fault i haven't been pushing to fight but you know now i'm back and uh, i'm just excited to be in the ring and hopefully you know you guys love my skills and what i bring to the table thank you so much sean great name by the way Great name. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, man. <laughs>